Heads up, guys, I've got a whole bunch of these Dual Destiny Shadow Dragon pets. They are level 20s. These are legendized. They're already legendized, and I'm going to give these away on live stream, so make sure you guys are subscribed and you've hit the notification bell. These guys have amazing stats, 121,000 on the cheat, 131,000 on the coin, and the ninjutsu is over 37,000. So, guys, make sure you've got that notification bell on so you guys are notified when I give these to you during live streams. I've got several pages of these and other really good pets as you can see and I'm gonna give them all to you guys during future live streams what is up guys and welcome back to Dieter play so I want to show you in this video I want to see first of all if I can break a record for the most amount of chi that I've gotten in a very small period of time we want to do that and I also want to tell you guys the quickest way to defeat the bosses all three of the bosses we're gonna take all three of them down here in this video so we've got some of it ready but first thing I want to tell you uh, you want to have some pets because now the pets actually help you see how it says target none but you can actually get these to help you when you're taking on the bosses so uh, you know as many pets as you can hold you know if there's just two or if you guys have six or if there's eight depending on any of the, uh, the the passes that you've purchased you know just hold on to as many pets as you can because they all work the same too it doesn't matter how powerful your pet is it doesn't really matter about that uh, you you want to get some ninja stars like even if you have the very first one this one will work just fine but also if you have all the ninja stars or the shurikens right here um, if you don't just make sure you don't use any of the explosive ones because those ones throw a little bit slower they're a little bit more powerful if you're taking on another ninja or something but what I'm gonna use here and equip is the immortal shuriken so uh, we're gonna get a shuriken we got our weapon so all you need to do now now that you've got the most amount of pets like ready to go and the best weapon that you can get you want to start taking out these guys and we're going to show you how to do that really fast i've already got the first two down to just a, a few hits over there so we're going to go and uh the the one that we're going to take on over here that has like about 800 or something hits left to it and we're going to give you some strategy as a part of that you know uh there's various different ways to do this so there's kind of a couple different strategies i'm going to show you the way uh you guys can do it if you don't have any robux or any passes but i'll show you another way that you can do it if you do have some more passes that will help you guys of course you know the passes in this game help you and they're not too expensive it's not like there's any forty thousand robux passes or anything to like old infinite pets that'd be crazy because i've seen that before I, I know we've seen that before so first thing you want to do is if you want to get your pets to target your uh your enemy right here one of those bosses you can't do it just by starting to throw like shurikens at them because if you throw shurikens sure that's going to help you a lot uh, but that's not going to get you uh, targeting them you actually have to hold on to your weapon and then go and start swiping at them see after you go and swipe at them now it says target over here is ancient magma boss so you want to make sure that you've got the target on to the ancient magma boss so what i do and why this works the quickest for me when i do it is i like to use ninja stars so what i recommend definitely go back and forth the ninja stars you can throw them fairly fast so if you can only do 22 just do the 22 stars and then switch over to your weapon and then come over here start hitting his feet and while you're at it the the pets that you've got those are going to help you as well so uh, if you want to do that that is a way to do it uh, but yeah I've purchased the pass for infinite shurikens so if you guys can do that this is probably the quickest way and I've told you about getting some uh, some auto clickers auto clickers definitely help and that's what I use here to help me with this so what I like to do is zoom in and I like to go invisible because it kind of clears a little bit of stuff out of your way so see it kind of clears that stuff out and then I start my auto clicker and then boom with the auto clicker with the uh, infinite shurikens you can basically just like start taking them out and every three seconds your pets are gonna start throwing some ninja stars at them as well so uh, every single boss has the same pattern they're gonna walk to one place they're gonna breathe they're gonna walk to another place and then the second place they go to they're gonna do this like stand-up thing and then land and then there's gonna be a certain radius around them that is going to have a little bit of an impact so if you are far enough away as you can see I am it did not impact me now it's a little tricky sometimes if they're like in the very middle like it looks like he's going to get in the middle right here so sometimes it's really tricky if he gets like right in the middle sometimes you won't be able to get out of the blast radius at least for this guy uh, let's see if I can stay up oh, see see that's what I did so I just turn off my auto clicker you're okay you're okay and then you just go back in there and you just get back to it so you want to if you can be on the opposite side of the arena that he's on 
Otherwise, usually, if you if you do that, usually you can get to a point where uh, you're taking them out. But as you can see, like my uh, my targets on my pets, it's none again. So make sure that your pets are actually throwing the shurikens at them. But if not, if if they're not throwing the shurikens, go and hit them with your weapon again, and then start throwing these shurikens again one more time. And then again, I like to zoom in, and then I like to go like invisible because being invisible, it just see how it kind of clears up the screen a little bit for you. It just really helps. So this guy is down to less than 200 but look at how quickly the uh, the hits are going down on him so that is going down pretty quick now what I'm going to do is before I defeat these guys I am going to spend a little bit to multiply it by 10 now you can do that if you want to or not it's up to you uh, you're still gonna get a massive amount of rewards but I'm trying to use this so I can actually try to go for like some sort of record I don't know if there's some sort of record it's kind of good that he knocked me back that time so I've got 37 hits left uh, of this so what I'm going to do let's see we are at 1.21 trillion because I've basically been AFK and like farming uh, chi and a whole bunch of shuriken at the same time we've got 1.73 un I've also got the most highest rank I'm gonna show you guys that as well but first we're gonna grab all of these so let's remember 1.21 trillion I'm gonna go to the store okay so for just 15 minutes I'm gonna get this booster of times 10 chi for 89 robux so I'm gonna purchase that and then get that and let's see how much chi I can actually farm in just a small amount of time so now that we've got that uh, I am going to finish him off let's uh, let's get him taken care of um, so I, it, you know I, these, these are gonna go pretty quick I don't really have to get my pets I don't really have to get my pets involved with the whole thing so we're gonna do that and then three two one boom boss defeated how much that was oh three point nine five whoa okay Okay, we're at 3.95 on the chi now. T, 3.95 trillion. Okay, so on to take on these other bosses that I've sort of worn down and got them all ready to go as well. So let's see, this boss right here, he just needs uh, 30, uh, yeah, just a few more hits. 34, let's, uh, let's get this going on with the auto clicker a little bit faster. Okay, okay, so we've still got 13 minutes left of the boosters going on okay boss defeated all right we're at 4.14 trillion over there okay so that was uh 195 and then the time 10s multiplier uh the eternity boss the eternal boss so with this method i was actually able to take this boss took about eight minutes and the other boss took about 10 minutes to get them down to where they're pretty much toast so this guy over here we're just going to take him down a few more hits with the ninjutsu uh oh he's jumping I mean, can i get him before he jumps can I get him before he jumps ah no i didn't get him before he jumps oh i did though i sort of did i sort of did all right 1.17 trillion so all right, we're at 5.32 trillion we've gotten over 4 trillion just from defeating the bosses over here so now we're going to travel to the valley see how much we can get in these uh, in these chi chests that we've got over here all right let's see where's where okay there we go there we go we've got we've got this uh, with this chest over here i think i've got enough jumps all right okay so we've got this one we've got now 5.33 billion that one's not as much I think the uh, the newer ones have much better chests that you can get for chi. So we're gonna go over here to the Eternal Island. The Eternal Island has a really good chest that you want to go for for chi. So we're gonna go to this one right away. Okay, we're gonna come over here. 1.97 billion chi. All right, we're at 5.52 trillion on the chi. So it's looking really good. All right, let's see. Uh, Enchanted Island. This one does have a chi chest as well. So I'm gonna actually tap that real quick go grab this chi chest now we can travel back there that actually is a little faster astral island does not have a chi chest i don't believe i don't think this this one does actually this one does have a chi chest so we're gonna go to this one we're gonna collect that we're going to click on this all right let's see what are we going to next space island i don't think it really has a chi chest i think this one that one's coins, right? Yeah, that one's just coins. I don't need coins yet. We're not so worried about the coins in this video. But we're going to go now to Tundra Island. Okay, Tundra Island. This one is that... Okay, that one is Chi. All right, sweet. All right, we got Chi from that one. 5.81 trillion on the Chi, guys. This is a lot of Chi. <laughs> All right, Sandstorm. I think this one was pet 
experience. Can never have too much pet EXP. Might as well collect that while I'm at it. I probably should have done that before I collected all the chi, because I probably could have gotten more. But, you know, those points don't seem to help that much as far as helping those along. Let's see. Thunderstorm. I don't think there's a... What kind of chest is there? Yes, this one is souls, but, you know, can never have too many souls, right? We're at 1.5k souls. All right, we're ready. We're almost ready for some updates there on the, uh, on the, the dark the dark area and this one i don't think let's see is this one chi yes this one is chi as well ready to collect so we're gonna get that one boom we've got six trillion chi now guys 6.00 trillion chi oh my gosh guys that is a lot of chi i think that's gonna go very far for us i think that's gonna go very far now um i actually could in 10 minutes i believe defeat the new boss actually he spawned he has spawned, so I could go and I could defeat him with this method, which would work. Or I could go to the Sandstorm for myself. I am a dark trainer, so I can come down here and I could just basically go AFK. And at this point, I could do this and then just kind of collect a bunch of ninjutsu. But also, while I'm at it, I'm collecting chi while I'm up here like every three seconds. So it's like four, 489 million chi. Hmm. I think I could still get a lot more if I wanted to go for the boss. But yeah, that would take a little bit longer. I think I think that's definitely an option, guys. You guys can go for the first boss a second time and do it in under ten minutes. You know what? I think I'm gonna I'm gonna go do that, guys. I'm I'm gonna go do this. I'm gonna go take this boss out real quick. We're gonna see if we can do this in under nine minutes, guys. This is the challenge. This is the the boss in under nine minutes challenge. I'm I'm fairly confident that I can do that. So check this out, guys. All right, guys, here we are. We're down to 30, down to 20 hits remaining, and we still got almost three minutes left. Boss defeated, boom! All right, now he doesn't give you nearly as much. So he, he technically only gave me like 200 billion, I guess, in that one. You know, it's better than nothing. But at this point, I do have three minutes. So I think, um, I, you know, I'm gonna call that the unofficial record, guys. I'm gonna call that the unofficial record. You know, unless I can see that somebody's made more than, what, five trillion? five trillion chi in just a short period of time so that was four bosses five trillion chi that is quite a bit now i think all i need to do at this point is i can just sit here and i can uh spend the rest of the time like collecting as much chi as i can from this little island because i do get a multiplier on the chi over here it's 50 chi every three seconds but then it's multiplied depending on the pets that you have so if you're doing this part like this part does actually help with the amount of pets that you have but the uh the and the treasure chest will definitely help with the amount of pets that you have but um and you know all of it will help with the pets that you have but the number of hits and how the pets are effective against the bosses doesn't matter what kind of shurikens you have or what kind of pet you have it's just one hit is equal to one hit so uh guys if you're new here would love to have you subscribe and hit that notification bell thank you so much for watching and we'll talk to you guys later